How do, I'm going to start with you, T-Mac. How does this work? You, you know who's officiating your game that night. How do you go about it? How do you manage the officials? Well, <clears throat> a lot of these guys, especially in our era, they had tricks that they do, especially for good offensive players that they like to do. Um, I'll take you back to when we was playing Philadelphia at home, and Eric Snow had all the tricks in the bag when I used to go up and shoot, and he used to nudge me a little bit, but the refs couldn't see that. And I told the refs over and over, like, watch what he's doing when I'm going up to shoot. Um, they didn't do anything about it, so we kind of got into it. You have to go, you have to approach the ref and talk to him. Not everybody's going to, you know, release some frustration at times. That's, we play an emotional game. But I think it's the way you go to the refs, and it's been several times where I go to the ref and tell him if he missed a call to look at it at halftime. Go look at the film at halftime, and then he'll come out and he'll let me know, I missed that call. And you'll get calls. They'll go look at it at halftime. They'll go look at it at halftime. A lot of them <clears throat> say they'll look at it, but how many <laughs> referees are at halftime looking at the call? They back there saying, well, can you believe T-Max said something to me? You know what? He say one more thing. I'm going to throw him out this game. They're not looking at the play. Is there a monitor in their room? Of course. Can they replay a game? Yes. It, no, I've been to the referee's locker room. What are you Before doing in the game? referee's locker room? Yeah, I got one, so many questions. One, the referee's locker room is usually going to be a spare room in the arena that no one else has used. So they're telling me they have a TV and a DVR in there. They can go back and look at the play. <laughs> DVR. I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, I can't <laughs> really argue that. come back. Uh, that's how they smooth yeah. you over. But the way you manage the ref. This, this whole time he's I been thinking to. that's how it works. All right, listen, just at, the end of, at the end of the day, all refs, are they, they're like us, right? They, every, you they got, got some egos. referees they got egos. that are just no nonsense. They're not taking nothing. Steve Jordan Javi. Crawford's Javi's the guy that just spoke. You can't say anything to them. And then there's some guys that, you know. They give you more lo lee leeway. Yeah, you get a little more leeway. But you got to know that as a player and as the star player, you got to know which guys you can impact you know or maybe affect to help the team out. And that, that's just kind of the history of it. I, I know one thing. Steve Javi <clears throat> looked himself in the camera and said a bold face lie. I've Star players yes. do get the benefit of the whistle. Don't right. they, Paul? Don't Without they, T-Mac? Don't Without they, doubt. Mr. Big Shot? And I will tell you why. When you have 18,000 fans, 100 million viewers on TV, they didn't come to watch the star player get kicked out. There's big money watching. involved in this. If the referee get, kicks out LeBron on a Sunday afternoon game on Christmas or any uh, national televised game, please believe. I've never been fishing. I've never eaten cricket, but I just reeled, reeled you, you in. in. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the, <laughs> other, on the other side, to how much is given is much as much is required. So, therefore... Just like a coach, I have to be able to coach my best player. As an official, you have to be able to officiate the best, best players. players. So I gonna, I'm going to send a message to Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, LeBron While James. not on national TV. Too. Correct. Well, listen, so though, everybody else know they better fall in line. I, I look at somebody like LeBron James. I don't think he's getting the fair shake with the officials, being the best player in the game. This guy is only averaging five th free throws. And then that, that piece that we saw with Steph, Steph is shooting six free throws a night. You gotta be he's a jump shooter. And you meant to tell me he's a lot more aggressive than LeBron James and he's only averaging five free throws? But he got to be one of the toughest guys to officiate. I mean, hey, he's oh, they, coming there. Okay, First they of said all, that about Shaq. Shaq still shot about 14, yeah, 15 but I, free throws a night. Some attention those two. First of all, there's half the time Bron backing, he backing you down at four feet, then he ends up shooting at eight with that fadeaway. Who going to call that foul? I think the exactly. numbers, the Nobody. numbers, the so. numbers go hand in hand. Let's say with LeBron, he's shooting 58 from the field. So he's making a lot of his shots. That, that goes to show you it's less free throws. The higher your percentage is, you're shooting 41% from three. You're shooting more threes now. So those numbers all go hand in hand. Correct, because the players that were leading in free throw attempts, they're not jump shooters. Greek freak, as well as Ben Simmons. Exactly. I just wish the fine money, suspension money, all money, that players and coaches paid to the league stayed in that community. <laughs> and it was a big check at the end of the I year. Agree. I used to say uh, that to you guys, Pistons team. I'm like, y'all just donated $250,000. That money should have stayed in the hood. So all you Denver Nuggets <laughs> out there with those fines, Porter Billups Leadership Academy. <laughs> That's what's going to happen we, we, next. I guarantee you, right. Adam Silver is going to do that one day. 30 communities, 30 checks. Bro, 